center of the course, coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it. Nine races will be run on Sunday, the 16th of August, 2020, of course, at Hollywood Bets, Scottsville. Naturally, we're on the grass and it's going to be a, an exciting race meeting that will uh, await us. Of course, we're recording the show today, which is Friday for Sunday. Racing's on Sunday, but there's something else very special happening today. My colleague, good friend, co-presenter for the GTV show, turns, I'm going to tell them all, a ripe old 65 today. Happy birthday, Graham. Thank you, Warren. Yes, as I said off air, now officially through the doors to the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> well, lovely, lovely. I'm glad that you are with me today on uh, your birthday to, uh, as the, our teams call it, the birthday show. All the best to you and thanks for your contributions as always. No, thank you very much. Uh, it's great to be part of the show. Lovely. Let's go into the first race. And uh, it's number time, 12, 3, 6, 7 for Graham, 12, 11, 7, 4 for me. We both in the camp of Bindi, the filly. And of course, it is lovely to see the work riders have a chance to show their metal. Absolutely. So uh, obviously a little bit of an unknown quantity. The work riders here in KwaZulu Natal are not as exposed as their counterparts on the high fault. They don't get anywhere near as many opportunities. Uh, but some interesting names. Um, Callum Dixon rides uh, number 12, Bindi. He's ridden in a few races. He's gone close. Um, I like Bindi because shows good pace. I think the track is probably still running very fast. It's 1,100 meters. Uh, so it's not quite 1,200 meters where they might run out of gas in the closing stages. They could go all the way. But for a, a work rider's conditional graduation, it's actually attracted a very nice field. Uh, certainly nothing wrong with enjoy the views, course and distance form. Uh, Master of Illusion uh, is struggling to put it together, Warren, but if you go back in its form, beaten a shorthead by African Warrior in a feature a year ago, beat Socrates on the poly track also uh, nearly a year ago. He's won on the turf, he's won on the poly. Certainly inherent ability, Master of Illusion, who might just find the trip a little on the sharp side, has to be uh, thrown into calculations. And uh, I noticed you tipped uh, Quick Star to run second. So uh, obviously also very quick. Absolutely, very quick uh, for MJ Woodendahl. Colin Govan, the Sami's horse, uh, work rider Vumba will take the ride. Graham, Master of Illusion, going back to Master of Illusion, uh, Aaron Zabellini, the uh, work rider who rides for Dennis Dreyer there. Okay. He's the uh, gentleman that sees okay. the Okay, we've that's seen him on television. Two. We've yeah. seen him on television. Yeah, he's, he's won like the, the last Andrew two. Fortune of the work riders' wrecks. Absolutely. We see him at Summerfeld very often in the morning, and he's uh, a cheerful chap, and no doubt he'll be looking for three in a row in the work riders' challenge. Well, certainly, Master of Illusion could do it for him. Um, as I say, it's, uh, he's certainly shown above average ability, but it's quite a competitive race, as we've mentioned. I mean, the likes of Lots of Silver, Drunken Sailor, Let Harbour, Double Espresso, all of these come into a very competitive work riders race with good form. You know, often these kind of races lack any kind of quality. Yes. This is an exception. So Bindi is going to have to be at her absolute best to pull it off. I'm expecting a very close finish. We both believe that Bindi will be at her best and she is our first choice. 